U.S. citizen Maryam Rahim and her three children were visiting Afghanistan when the Taliban took over. My family is out there. My parents, my dad was sick. You know, I want to visit to him. And after uh, 20 days, we tried to early come back home. So we're looking for the tickets. The tickets were not you know, sold out, all of them, everything. So before that, everything happened, you know. They went to Kabul to try to get a flight home. So we need some help from State Department. You know, we get calls, phone calls, phone call, and they tell us we go to the airport and the gate, you know, just show your passport, they let you go in. And we stay like 16 hours, we stay like, Every night, like eight hours, nine hours, and nobody's help us. Marion's husband asked Congressman Ronnie Jackson for help. Her husband, who was here still in Amarillo, was obviously worried about his wife and his children, and they, 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 they couldn't get out, you know, as soon as the Taliban took over Kabul. He says they immediately reached out to the State Department. We gave them all the information we had. We had copies of the passports. Uh, we had everything that we could possibly find. Got it to the State Department. And we got no results, nothing. With increasing danger, Jackson called Corey Mills, a former contractor, and his team who planned to make a rescue in Kabul. And they literally had an aircraft that was circling the airfield, and they were told by the State Department and by the U.S. military they could not land the aircraft. While Jackson's office worked, Miriam and her family continued to try to leave from Kabul. I showed the Taliban the passport, you know, they be... They always told me, if nobody call your name from inside the airport, we don't let you go in the first time. And the second time, I go ask him the same thing. Oh, brother, I will speak Pashto, you know, how you he can help me so I can go in. They say, we can, you know, we can. Do you understand me or not? And they pull the guns and put my heads, you know. That's two times they did to me. At that point, we got word that the uh, that the Taliban were already going around in Miriam's neighborhood looking for her and her family. They, they knew she was an American citizen. They were asking neighbors and stuff where they're at. Mills and his team were able to take Miriam and her family to a safe house 13 hours away in Mazari Sharif. At that point, that there were six planes on the ground, fueled, had crews ready to go. The manifests were put together. But the Taliban would not let the flights leave. Mills' team took them to the border of another country for safety. They let Miriam and her family across, and then we were able to get them on a flight and get them back home. And uh, now we have them here, so uh, just glad to have them home. Miriam is thankful to be alive. Her kids driving her to get back home no matter what. Thank you again for everybody you know, to help me, and especially Corey's is, for me, is hero. Kaylee, thank you. Miriam also confirmed the State Department has called her three times since Friday after she returned to the U.S. She said they asked where she was in Afghanistan and did not seem to know she was back in the country. Congressman Jackson also says they received little help from the State Department, but he says it has tried to take credit for the rescue. And for